Hey, oh. Hello, folks. How are you today? No. I'm going to take my time on this wee one. Don't know how long it'll take, but it's doing a nice wee one. Okay, so I started to start. Here I have mineral spirits, sometimes known as uh, white spirits, galkide, lamp black, cerulean blue, ultramarine blue, titanium white, transparent oxide red, raw umber, cadmium yellow, cadmium red, and thalo green. Right, and on the, the canvas on the easel, I have a eight across, ten down, extra fine cotton canvas. So, just going to put down some dark colours here today, to begin with. So, thalo green, thalo green and titanium, or transparent oxide uh, red. Okay. Let me just get down some colours here. Okay, now where am I going to have the horizon? I think I'll just put the horizon here today. And then a little thing of a jig up into there, a little tree up in here. Let me get this leveled off. Alright, just so I can see where I'm going. See where I'm at. Now, what do I want? Let me just let me just continue to play here, folks. Let me see. See if I can come up with something. Now I'm beginning there. You see now I'm beginning to see something here and here as well. Okay. Now I'm going to write. I'm just going to wipe some of this out. Have a little bit of a, a little bit of water in here. Let me see. Uh, yeah, okay. Just there, I'll do. <laughs> um, just like the using a different. No, no, not a technique. Technique is far as wrong. Just using a. Uh, Fawn brushes today. Uh, don't know why, just thought I'd give them a wee spin. Not them out for a while. Not them out to breathe for a while. <laughs> a little bit greener. I think I'm going to have to bring out some of the, the yellows. See now. I just want to make sure I'm going to bring this tree here, but the base of it is going to be about here. All right. I'm just just playing at the minute, folks. That's all. Create a nice. Nice little landscape here. Now I want to change up the colours a little bit as I'm going along. Don't like it all being the one colour. And I don't like it all being the one tone. Okay. I'll turn the uh, exposure up a touch. That's the wrong direction. Give you a bit of an idea of what I'm going... I will turn it down later, but give you an idea of what I'm seeing. A little bit of ultramarine for that type of a green. Let me get it down in here. Nice saturated green. Because we're close. Okay. Bada boom boom boom. Bada boom. Little bit of spirits here. Just creating the, the reflections that's already in. That's already in. <laughs> Talk nonsense at times. 
He's creating the little reflections that are here, that I'm that are going to be here. That's a better way of saying what I'm trying to say. All right. I will have something here, or at least we have the beginnings of something. Okay, I'm going to put out a little bit of cadmium yellow. And see if there's anything, while I'm at it, see if there's anything else I need out. At the minute, I don't think so. Uh, I'm okay. Maybe a, uh, a little bit of titanium white, maybe. I think I'm going to have the, the sun peeking out behind this tree to give it a bit of a silhouette. So I'm going to work on that. Where I am, it's gotten very dull, very dark, as if a, a large storm is coming. I'm expecting to hear some, some thunder. Now I've got some cerulean down, so I'm gonna ask. I don't want it too, too dark up here, nor too saturated. So I'm just going to knock it back a little bit with some of that brown that's on the that mixture of red and green. A oh. little bit of the pink in it as well will do it good. Alright. Now that's a bit too... It's a bit too thick to be working with. I want... Not a bit thinner. <laughs> Creating different shades in this. That's in the uh, in the ground, it's in the sky. The sky will be affecting the ground. Just keeping it relatively rough for the time being. And then I'll come along and fix it up. Oh, I got a nice wee uh, tree line now going along here. So I'm going to make this a purple today. Nicely desaturated gray purple. Or violet. No. I wanted to knock that back. So one of the good ways to knock a, a violet back is with a green. All right. Happy enough? No, maybe a bit brighter. Okay, and I'm going to mess this up. This is going to be way, way off in the distance. A wee bit higher, maybe. No, right. that's good. And let's create a, a nice cerulean-ish base to this, to this guy. <laughs> no, 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 it's all too dark, it's all too dark. Okay, that's a bit better. That creates a nice wee separation between the tree line and the sky. Uh, 
and then just work that into it now let me clean off my brush here just a little bit too much on it now oh <laughs> i forgot to follow that through that's fine okay and now you know, it's going to mess around here getting all this worked in and all these clouds all nice and softened up a little bit and i want the color of the sky in the clouds They want the color of the sky and the clouds. Does that make any sense to anybody? Am I talking? It's not what I meant. I meant I want. There's going to be a nice yellow light here, ish, and I want that shown in this. So oh, can you hear the rain? I hope you can hear the rain. I hope it's picking it up. As I say, it feels like a, I'm going to go and have a wee look here. Can you hear that? Yeah, it feels like a thunderstorm is on the way. That's nice. I've, I've left uh, the back door open so that I uh, just get a bit of a breeze in, you know. Right, okay. Nah, enough nonsense. Enough talking nonsense, eh? Now let's get on to the, the wider area of this. shape things just taking some off the brush and laying it down and around here and then I'll put a nice big blob of white right in the center of it or near near the center of it just soften all of that out okay no 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 where are we where are we It's a bit of a vignette cloud going on, on up here. It's a bit too, a bit too cerulean. And this will all be blended in. You get that nice softness of clouds. Okay, so let's do that then, while we're here. Now well, I'll change my glasses. Okay, just getting this all nice and soft. Now, a little stippling effect to begin with. Yeah, it helps it, helps soften it up a bit. let this dry and dry out and I'll come in and I'll put different areas but I'm, I'm not entirely done with it yet there's still some white and all has to go on it there's still some work has to be not done with it anyway, I think I'm going to need to get myself some uh, did I hit the thing I did hit it Okay, right there, and right there. There we go. There we go now. Like I say, I'm gonna be a wee bit more careful with this one today. Just letting it. Then it do what I think it wants to do. Just 
playing around with it, not being afraid of it. Not me, where do I think I am here? I think, um, let me actually, I'll drop the, so what you can see. Is that it? No, that's about it there. That's about it there. <coughs> Let me see. Eh, I'm not done yet. It's nice and soft. Let me get this up. Oh, that's a bit too, a bit too colourful. Just creating some edges here. Soft edges. It's letting a, a lot of it do its own work here. Okay, I'm going to smooth this out a little bit here, and then I will see where we are. So I do think so far, so good. Put this down as a base. Okay, I'm going to work. I'll work here. Now, as I say, this the base of this is. I maybe even bring it down. A, actually, I think I will. I'll bring it down a good bit further. Actually, but let me establish this this back color. Just. Establish this at the, for the time being. Okay, and create a nice wee horizon there off in the distance. Gently coming down into what we've already established here. No, I need to be a bit, a bit more cognizant of my lines. Sometimes I forget about them entirely. Okay, am I? No, I, I want this to come down a, a good bit further. So let's get that down there. So some darks. A little bit of. Mineral spirits just to help it stick a bit. Now it should mix well with what's down. And let me just bring this out to here a little bit, bring it down a bit further. And give me a nice um, uh, base of a tree. So now that I've done that, I have to compensate for it and bring this in a little bit. Just for an overall shape of the tree is all. That's all that is. Just an overall shape of the tree. Hope you find the, the sound of the rain pleasant. I do. Right. Now in front of the tree here, because it's sitting in the shade, is going to be a blue, a nice blue shade of it. Okay. That's what I'm going to do. What am I going to do? What am I going to do? I'm going to do things. 
Just looking at me options. Okay. I am going to plant this right here. And here. That's the, the reflection of this guy in there. And then now I'm going to have a nice warm one here. And then, once I have done this, add a little bit of the white to it. A little bit of the sky it's already done. I should green it up a little bit with some of the, the red. Brighten it up. So we're heading up into the, the light and the reflection. And let me see. No, we're near bright enough. <laughs> that should be it now. That should be it now. There, look at that. Gives us a nice gradient. Oh, as long as we don't get too much of the the other colours into it, we, we should be fine. That's okay. That can all be rectified. Now I wish to establish the overall shape of the grasses. So I'm just going to do that with the existing colors that are down. I'm going to keep it relatively dark because I'll be coming over it with a, a highlight. Nice, nice and darkish as it were. And this is just to establish the, the overall shape what I want here of how I want this to, to look in the end so far I'm happy enough with it actually you know it, it's not not a bad shape it's not a bad composition just get my lines covered here goodness me let me turn this up so that you can have a bit of an idea and see what's going on now the shape of this coming here, and I, I want a little, yeah, you know, let me have a wee look at this. Let me have a wee look at this, just come on up here. Another wee one up here. ba ba bum ba ba da bum ba ba da bum Right. Let's get some darks in, in the proper areas. Some red, oxide red, some little bit of black, and some mineral spurts. Just for me to pull this out here, and down in here, and down in here. Okay. And there are two. Okay. A little bit more, a little bit red now as I'm coming up to the to the water here. Up to this area here. So a little bit more red and I'm just Okay. No. Okay. Now what to do? I think I'll work up and around here. With what I have, with what I have, with what I have. I took a wipe a little bit off the brush there. I don't want to be I'm just trying to create a, a, a shape here with the already existing wet paint that's done. This can be where it can be difficult at times, folks. You're blending and trying to match tones at the same time here on shapes as well. So 
or a good way to get it done is to just just go for it folks just flick it up in the shapes whatever shape you want and then it's all fixable you can come in later and give it a proper a proper fix I want to use some spirits here just to help it stick a bit See oh, excuse me, I need to see. Excuse me, folks, I needed that. I hit stop, just didn't subject you to that. You're creating this tree shape here now. Up in here. Now I'll have some branches going through and up in here whenever I get this guy sorted. Right, so now I'm going to work properly on. I. Mm, mm, mm. I will work a wee bit more on this uh, tree line in the back. A little bit darker, a little bit more purple, a little bit grey. Let's see. Yeah, a little bit more than that. Just a bit more than this, folks. Okay, now, let me see. Now, you can see, here's a, a thing for you, folks. Because I pulled the brush this way, most lights are over are overhead. It's created a whole lot of little lines which reflects this light. So the way to get rid of that reflection is just to pull it down. Just pull your strokes down. And let me say I'll do it right in the center here so you can see a difference. See? And you just pull it down. And it gets rid of that that reflection. Now I'm going to soften the edges of this, but because it's so tiny, so small, I'm going to use a very, 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 very small brush. Oh, I believe there's somebody up in the front door. All right, now, bada bum, what was I doing? Yes, I was going to fix this up here. Just look at the size that we tiny, tiny um, uh, makeup brush. All I'm doing is softening the edge of this tree line. And creating shapes as well. Some of the paint that's caught up in this little brush and then just carry on doing what I'm doing. Being gentle too. Right, just as a just to create a definite shape there. And trees off in the background, which I think this in the end will be better scumbled on. <coughs> okay, now I wish, I wish, I wish, I wish to work on. Now obviously, this tree is nowhere near done, but I am going to put in some of the the colors that's down, just so that whenever I come back. I can create some shapes and shadows in it, in the areas. 
Hi. You know what? I'm thinking. I'm thinking I'm just going to carry on here. Work through with what I've got. Yep. All right. So I'm going to make a decision here, folks. And the decision is I'm going to... I'm not going to finish the painting today, but I'm going to do more than I had originally thought I would do. And I'm just going to get myself a nice... Um, a nice regular brush. It can create me some nice... Where is my regular brush? Create me some nice tree trunks. I am a bit lost as to what I, what I have done with my... Favorite brush. Bumpity bum. I mean, where would you be? Where would you be? Sorry about this, folks. I wonder, should I hit pause? Uh, well, this one will do. This isn't. No, it won't do, actually. No. wonder what happened to that brush. Bumpity boop boop boop. Yeah. Well, this one will do. <coughs> no, just a, a lot of uh, raw umber here and a bit of transparent oxide red and some some of the uh, mineral spirits. Now, this comes up here. That's going to go into very wet conditions here. So I'm just thinning it out. And I'm going to be taking a few steps at a time. And I don't want it to be, I want it to be relatively straight. But you know what way trees grow? <coughs> I'm going to see him. Now I'm going to come up into this part of it here. Okay, now I want to wash it out a bit with some some white to make it a bit of a brighter a brighter color as if it's if it's itself is being washed out with the light behind it. Okay, now here, here is another one. I'm going to bring this one up a little bit, a bit higher. Okay. And then I'm going to write. See, I, I ended up being relatively happy with the sky. Uh, I don't think there's anything in it that I can't fix later. If I'm if I remain on if I become unhappy with it, I think I can fix what's there. Now I now you get some red and some nice warm ish tones here. This might be a bit too red, but we'll see. Nice and thin. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, nice and thin here, folks. Ah, you can't really see that, so you can't. So a little bit brighter with the orange, a little bit wider. And that should make a bit of a difference here, so it should. Okay, now let me just bring up, a, uh, make this one a bit thicker. A little bit darker. Right. 
small fan ones coming off the edge. Small fan ones just coming off the edge here. No. Okay. Okay, for now, let's just give it a moment. Let's just stand, stand back. It's very easy to overdo things. Very easy to go too far. So I'm going to, I'm going to properly get me some light in the background here. And that light would be here. And here. All right, now I'm just going to drag it across so it mixes with what's down. Okay, so it's not so bright. All right. <coughs> yes, plaster this in and around. to knock that back a bit. I only want the, the basic main, main part of this light to be about here. I'll do. I'm just knocking it back a bit. Okay, now you see that? Now, now I do think it's a bit bright. But I'm going to commit to it. Because it can always be brought back if needs be. Okay. I just keep them in mind here. I'm, I'm not sure whether that I'll put it, yeah, I'll put it here. I'll always bring it back if needs be. You see, now it brings the tree right forward, right forward on the horizon here. I will broaden the base of it a little bit. It's a wild little tree now. Okay, so now that, that opens up other things for me. Later grasses at the front here whenever it dries. Um, I'm going to mess around with this. I'm going to mess around with the uh, the reflections here for the time for the moment. I just want to soften the edges of them. Look at that. And I have these wee brushes are brilliant for doing this. It just softens the edge of the uh, edges of these. Now that's that reflection. It's a, the way the tree is coming across here. That's nice. It's not bad now. Bring that. Let me just try something here. See, you can paint with these wee things too, so you can. They leave a lovely soft uh, thing behind, leaving a nice soft impression behind. Wonderful. Look at that. That's, yeah. Right, let me guess. Okay, what I'm going to do actually while while I'm here, I'm actually just going to blend everything together a little bit. I think it's all a bit too harsh for the time being. A little bit of stippling here and there. Just softening the edges. Letting it um, uh, keep the uh, the tones, but I'm not keeping too much of the textures at the time being. Now it, it just shows you uh, one of the last painting. All I wanted was texture, and this painting is a little bit different. I just I just want to do this a little bit different. Nice soft grasses, soft textures. And then I'll go over the, the top of it 
with with real grasses, with real grasses, with <laughs> real looking grasses. I'm going to up the exposure just a touch so you can see what I'm doing at the bottom here. And then I'll darken this tree down. Oh, there's still, still a good bit of work to do on this, but I'm getting there a little bit at a time. I am definitely getting there. And I'm just thinking, trying to think would be the, the proper term. I want this to come in a little bit more. So, let me see how to achieve that. I'll get this wee brush. A little bit of black on it, a little bit of transparent oxide red. You get some control over these wee things too, you know. Now I want this to come into here and down a bit more, more of, of this shadow in here. The same here, a wee bit darker in certain areas. Okay, let me see how happy I am with the shapes of things. Alright. Alright, let me see. The only reason I'm using this brush to do this is because I couldn't be bothered going and getting the proper, the real one to do it. But this also shows you that it, you can do it with a myriad of brushes. Um, actually, th that that's a good point to make while I'm here. This doing it, this that what I just did with that brush. You don't need expensive brushes to do landscapes. If you're doing the utmost reality and refined stuff, yeah, you need some decent rigger brushes. But what you're after is. Sometimes it's texture and smooth. All you need is a blending brush if you're after a smooth texture and if you're after a, a highly <laughs> textured texture, all, all you need is beat up brushes. They are your, your best pals. Beat up brushes are the ones. Now I'm just keeping my mind here. Yeah, it's a bit better. Let's cut that down a little bit there. Blend that in a touch. Bring it down into here. And I'm pretty happy with this at the time being. Now let me come down over here. See where we are. Yep. There now, look at that. A little bit more. I'm almost done here for today. And then I'll, um, uh, whenever this is dried up, I'll be able to come along and add, add, add a whole ton more stuff to it, of uh, textures to it. Now, I think I want a bit more dark in here, just so they just get, I just feel it's a bit too bright in certain areas. So then, I'm going to use my trusty wee brushes. Little tiniest, because they pick up so much. They soak up that um, uh, mineral spirits. Soak it up so much. Look at that. You see the the way that that creates that lovely. Yeah, look at that. That's lovely, isn't it? The way it can do it. It's creating some divots here and there, in little darker areas. There now. Not allowing me to put a wee water line in along here in a few areas. And I'm just having one wee last check at the uh, at the water. I think that it's okay, at least for now. Yeah. 
No. While I'm at it, I'm going to add some dark to this tree. While I'm here. Just to the base of it here. Bringing the light to here. I'm already here, I'm already using the things. So I might as well. And then I just take some of this off. Add a little bit of a canopy to it. All right, for now. That's, I'm pretty happy with this for not really. Just up in here. Just closing this off, just trying to create a, a bit of a shape. All again, subject to change. Okay, I think that, that might actually just do it for the time being. Right. Now, whenever this is dry, I will cool this area down here and put a wee cool some areas down, put some and flicker it through here and there, and then warm up some areas. Spread this tree out a little bit more whenever it's dry and add some more uh, branches to those trees. Maybe work a little bit more on the background here and a little bit more on the sky. But, as a preliminary painting, that's good, that'll do for now. I'm just going to turn the uh, the exposure down a wee bit, and I'll match my hand beside it here. Yeah, it's a little bit, oh, and it's half steps here, that's a bit better, but it's harder to see. Okay, folks. As I say, this will probably be my little sand from now on. For me, it'll be a day or two weeks, and for you, it'll be a second. Right, okay folks, back on to this one. So, a little bit of work to do here. I mean, yeah, we're going to fix up this hedge row at the back, or this tree line at the back. Bring this light over a little bit. Is that still wet? Um, no, it's okay. A little bit over here. Just a, a little bit. Opening that up a little bit. Work on the grasses and, and tone it a little bit. I want a warmer tone. So, just going to start with my, my Rosemary & Co. Ordinary long brushes. And this is wore away. 323 I think it is, yeah. Rosemary & Co long flats right what i will do is i'll work on the sky here i'll just open this up a little bit um now today is going to be a day of glazing and scumbling glazing and scumbling today folks I just trying this out. It's a little too, a little too bright. Just knocking it back a bit. I just taking it up in here, and creating some edges. You see that now? And I'm just going to work and work this around here. I don't want to cover these branches here, so I'm just going to be relatively careful. That opens that up. Okay. A little bit more here and there, just. There you go, that trace of it coming down here. I'm just going to rub that in just to get that little highlight going. 
Now, just because of the, the nature of what we're doing here, I'm just going to, that's a bit bright. Bit bright. There, bring that up in here. Creating the edges of this. This light breaking through the clouds. All right, now, in case of going too far, so just that's just let's just uh, step back a moment here and we look at this right just bringing that back a little bit okay I'm gonna work on the tree and I'm gonna try and finish the tree now So a nice raw umber, nice yellow. That's a nice, uh, that's a nice green that comes that comes up with beautiful green actually, tiniest bit of transparent oxide red, and a little bit of uh, galkade. Now I want to remove a lot of this off the the brush, just off here now. Let me see. And that could do be with being just a touch brighter just a touch and let me see there we go you see that showing up now so what i'm going to do maybe make that a bit warmer and um, yeah i think i'm gonna make that a bit warmer same tone just warmer Now, come up in here. Let's just finish these edges properly. Okay. Let me see, what should I do with this tree? I'll make it a wee bit bigger. Oh, here and there. Spreading it out a touch. Letting the, the leaves mingle in with that light. Yeah, okay. That's not so bad now. Okay. Let me just add a little bit of dark to it here. Let me just knock a nut back. Now, right. a little bit more here and there, just a To give it a random feeling rather than a cultivated feeling. Now look at what I've done there. I've gone and messed that up. Easy fix, folks. Trust the old paper towel. It just removes the guts of it. And what happened there was it I had too much black on my brush. Okay. And just creating the edges here with this tree. Nice and scraggly tree, eh? that's been beaten and battered in the wind. So, right, uh, I'm going to work on this area here, on this tree line. I want that to be a little bit purpley orangey color. So I'm going to work on that now. Valid the blue valid. Just the grey blue valid is all for the time being. Lots of galkai. Just all I'm doing is toning this a little bit. And I don't want it too saturated. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. A little bit of green. I'll That'll help grey it out a bit. Look at that. Now that is nice. A little bit thinner. As in make the, the glazing a little bit thinner. So 
so it's not so apparent on it. Right now. I just thought that that needed to uh, to be brought up a wee bit. Oh, that I needed to see that a little bit more. Almost two. Um, but what I will do is actually I'll, I'll mist it out a bit. Especially at the top here. That's not enough. My, uh, oh, my track suits were getting caught there. No, oh, okay, no. Well, let me see, let me get a bit of red in this. As the, the sun is heating this area up here, it's a bit too, a bit too red, I think. All right. There's trees off in the distance that are being heated by the sun. Just working it in now. Okay. I'm happy enough with this now. It shows, it shows a bit of a distance. The power of glazing can completely change the tone of a of a piece. Completely change it. That's okay. Now that's I'm I'm getting happy with this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to warm this area up along here with some transparent of a glazing of some transparent oxide red. Nice soft makeup brush here. So I'm going to be using um uh, lots of galkite here. A little bit of transparent oxide red. Tiny bit of cadmium yellow to help it along a bit, to orange it up a bit. Now, this is warming this area up along here. Warm and cool areas. I can, of course, I'll be coming along and wiping some of this off, wherever suits. Nice and warm. All right, no. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah, I'm feeling a bit excited about this one for some reason. <laughs> now let's lighten it up. Let me see. Um, I think. I think I'll take a little tiny bit off the off the back of this here. Now I'm gonna get my trusty bud things out here. I can't remember what you call these. Earbuds. Just wipe this off and bring that colour back in again. Bring that brightness back in again. There you see. And then there too. A little bit along here. That shows you that the light is hitting it. Now, I want to bring in a, a brighter green along here. A nice saturated green. A 
Okay. Again, this is more of a, a glaze than it is a, a painting job. I think that that needs brightened a little bit. Just being gentle with it. A lot of a bit of liquid to it just so that I can thin it out. And I can come in later and have a look at this. This is the, the this is the danger of adding colds and warms to things. Nice cool patch here. Mm -hmm. I think. Maybe a bit cold. Uh, okay, getting a bit feeling a bit better about this now. Can come on up in here. Yes, and it's it's but it, it also remember folks that I'm trying to add some variation to you here and there. So I'm um, trying to keep the the. Uh, the thing interesting through different shades and tones and colors all right let me just see here just take just waving the slightest bit off right just there oh no now we're now we're motoring That helps it mix a little bit. <coughs> uh, for a bit of liquid here. Still just playing with this folks. Still just looking at it. Stepping back and looking at it. Stepping back and looking at it. Where's my little Da Vinci brush? I have the right glasses on, I do. So a little bit of a dark area. And I'm going to put a little bit in here. Just slightly remove it. Just ever so slightly. Okay. Now, I'm creating some divots and whatnot in here. So, okay. This is going on, this is going well, so it is. This is going on well. And I'm just, I don't want it too refined at the moment. Can you see, I'm going to up the exposure a little bit so that you can have a bit of an idea of what's happening here. Okay. Now, I'm going to put these grasses in. A nice brown grass here. This orangey warm grass. Okay, so let me see the color of this first and the tone of it as well. Mm -hmm. A bit more orange. Now remember everything here is just personal taste folks. I'm not saying that what you should do is 
do it my way. Not at all, actually. Kind of hoping that if you pick up your paintbrush and follow along, that you end up just doing your own piece. That would be nice, don't you think? Maybe send it to me as well, if you feel like it. I won't be harsh. <laughs> A little bit brighter in certain areas. Just to, to add some variance. A little bit of a lighter grass here and there. Over here. Using a flat brush this way is a beautiful way to create some textures. Absolutely wonderful way. Now, we're coming down here. So I'm just going to be extra careful with what I'm doing. I just because I want to make sure that I don't cover up any shapes that I have down that I, that I like. And it's very easy to do to just all of a sudden find that you're working over what you've already placed down. And it's quite easy to do that actually. Right, okay folks, now I want to bring the grass up and up past the here, but I want to make sure I get the water fixed first. That's my next step, is to work on this water. I'm going to use a nice little sharp brush. And these cheap dagger brushes do the job. These here. So I'm just bringing the water up into here. Actually, this one seems a bit used. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I'll wash out this one, so... Oops, I'm hitting the camera. Little bit of noise, folks. I'm trying to keep that as far away from the... That, that sound as far away from the camera as I can. Okay, now... Let me get this in here. <laughs> Just trying to match what I already have done. No, nice and sharp, nice and sharp brush. Here, let me just come up into here. Oh, you see the way that pushes that up? Ah, oh, that, that's nice, isn't it? Now I'm going to put it just off in the distance here. Just going to put a little bit here. You see that? A little bit more, maybe. Just to make that a little bit more obvious. And a little bit in here. Okay. Now, let me see. Let me create some ripples in the water. It's a bit much. Okay. I hope that doesn't create too much of a sound. I'll find out an editing mode. Okay, let me see where we are here. Yeah, that's nice now. And then I'll come along and cover some of this up with grasses. Now that's awful. I don't like that. That's too bright. Must have picked a oops a dizzy. What did I drop? I'll just knock this back a little bit. No, it's not so bright now. Right. 
Now I'm going to be more cautious here, just up in here. Little bits. It's heading off into there, heading off into there, a little bit up in there. All right, now. Okay, so, all right. So it's not to mess up what I'm doing. I'm gonna brush up a, or sorry, I'm gonna make up a more valid one here for this area here. Now I'm making up a lot of paint, but unfortunately, I'm only gonna be using a small one I do it. Oh, yeah. And that's just unfortunate. A little bit brighter than what's down, and a little bit more red in it. All right. Nice and gently, and I don't want to pick up too much. So, we should be coming along here. Uh, okay. Now, it has a bit of a, a different light to it, so it does. Alright, now I'm not going to be putting in too much grasses, just a little bit here and there. Uh, I think I'm almost done with this, but I certainly want to, to come up into here with a flat brush. Indeed, indeed I do, where let me see, okay. Now, just keeping these tones in mind. Keeping these colors and keeping these tones in mind here. Now what's already done? A little bit of green in this now. Really messing this brush up at the end. Look at the, the shape of that brush. Um, now, just checking my tones before I go into here. You see that now? A little bit darker at the base. A little bit darker at the base. Now, too dark. And this is just to get it up into here. Okay, a little bit of the brighter side of it now. Just along here. Look at that. I'm not, I'm not turned out nice now. Now, all I'm going to do ba -ba -da -ba -ba -bum. Ba -ba -da -la -la. I'm going to drop the exposure a little bit for you Okay The picture, the photograph I'll take of this will be, will be a better representation from me. Nice and dark in this corner here. Sometimes do you like that vignette? You know, darkening the corners a little bit. There we go. Right. Now, right, as for the grasses, let's get a nice brush for the for doing this, eh? Should I open a new one? No, I've got a decent one here. And another one here, and another one here. And I'll use a somewhat thicker one today. Right, I'll push all this to the side so I have room to work. And let's get some twigs and grasses and whatnot in here. So, That's hmm, a big mistake, but not the hugest mistake. Okay. All 
Oh, goodness me. I'm making a mess of this. Right, going to start again with a, a proper mix this time. Okay. Now, I'll thin that out with a brush. Okay, a little bit too bright. Knock it back with some blue, some red, transparent oxide red. And I will knock it back again with the kitchen towel in a moment or two. Or my finger. Whichever one comes in handier. That's all right now. A little bit brighter in certain areas. want to go too too far on the grasses. I just want a little bit here and there just to to nook the wildness of the place. <coughs> My I think I'm all but done here folks. I want to create a little bit of a, a grass going up in here, so just to block this off just a bit. Okay, and same here, just, just going where I think the details need to go. Mm -hmm. Right, okay. How happy am I with this? Uh, a few more twigs here and there, and I think I'll be calling this one a day. I'm going to do twigs. I'm going to want it a little bit darker than what I have. Okay. And just a, a twig up there, and I, let me just and I want to thicken the base of this actually, I think it's too thin for a tree base. Okay. No, da, 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 da. just playing with thoughts here, folks. Playing with some thoughts. Ba, 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 boom. Where's my other brush? There it is. Right, I'm going to drop the exposure. Give you an idea of what I'm seeing. See now. Because of the, the nature of what I'm doing, most of the, my light is coming from the top here, coming top down. So the top half of the photograph, or the top half of the the camera, ah, let me start again. The top half of the painting is brighter than the bottom half because of the light. But what I see is that it's all relatively evenly lit. So I don't know how to figure that out on camera. Not yet anyway. But anyway, 
it says so what it'll do is it'll, just as a, an experiment I'll drop the the exposure to there and say that from here up is what I see when the exposure is down that low and then if I drop the exposure up a, or bring it up a bit from here from here down is what I see okay um, all right then what I think I uh, maybe uh, let me just I just want to knock some of it back a bit it's so easy to go for too much detail so it is I'm too keen on how many of those little flicks I put in there there we go there we go um, still still mulling it over folks not quite done yet let me see just here just reshaping this embankment a little bit and the same here just bringing it up a bit covering up what's covering up this part of the, this dark part of the bankment but still leaving enough behind for you to tell what's going on okay you know what I'm I'm happy with that now and that will do right folks what's that one Philly well on the best folks and I suppose I'm I'll see you in the next one.